We're shaking people. Back with another reaction. Back with some more Kate Bush. And we're back with another tune that's included as a bonus in an expanded folder for the 1985 album Hounds of Love. And the tune is called... Make sure I have this right. It's My Legan Love? Maybe My Legan Love? I'm not sure uh, how you pronounce it. And I'm not familiar with that as a title for a name. So not quite sure what to make of it. I do want to mention, a couple people have asked if I've reacted to The Handsome Cabin Boy. I have not yet, but it is the next track in the expanded folder for Hounds of Love. Um, so that will be the next Kate Bush reaction after this one. A couple people gave me a little insight there. Um, again, I try not to peek too much um, before doing a reaction, but um, I have it in mind that that is a notable tune and um, a couple people, like I said, gave me a rough description, so looking forward to that one. Um, but again, I don't know Le Legan or Legon or um, any other form of pronunciation. It's not a name I've heard. So if it is a surname or some proper name um, and a particular reference, I'm not familiar with it. Um, if it's a common noun or a, you know, a descriptive word, like an adjective, I'm also not familiar with it. So I really don't have a lot to work from in terms of the title. So let's just listen. This is Kate Bush. My Legan or Legon, or perhaps even a different pronunciation, Love, uh, and a bonus tune included in the 1985 uh, album Hounds of Love expanded folder I have access to. When rainy nights are soft with tears, oh. and incredible her voice is and indeed I think someone was just talking about it and they were saying that there's like I think some critic commented that you know of all the instruments the female voice is one that can be the most evocative and the most impactful um, and I think they were putting forward Kate's voice as perhaps particularly exemplary in that regard not only do I absolutely agree but hearing it here without any accompaniment and just in the stark um, spotlight of an a cappella uh, performance, it really stood out how amazing her voice is, how dynamic it is, how smoothly she can transition from the highest highs to a very um, well-arced low um, run. It just, it amazes me, her control and her power. Um, and yeah, it's funny, you know, I just did a reaction to a Eurythmics tune, and I was saying in that one, it's like Annie's voice, she can basically do anything, one of the most dynamic singers. 
again, I feel like one of the few singers who is, you know, even in that same category, at least among the artists I'm going through. I know there's probably people who are like, oh, but this person and this person. I don't discount any of that. But again, of the female artists I'm going through, I feel like these two voices, like, they just blow me away again and again and again. Um, and this was another example, perhaps more clear cut than some others, just because it was just her out there. So, um, really amazing. I didn't get a sense of exactly who this guy is, but it was a really interesting description. I caught some lines. It was like she was young and like the love, it was more pure. Perhaps it's, you know, the naivety, but also she was saying the world, it didn't seem cruel then. So, um, you know, it seemed kind, but that implies that over time, maybe things didn't seem that way anymore. So it's perhaps, again, a reflection to a, an early love that was very important. There was a line about like no one there to hold me, but then later it was no one there to hold him. So I'm not quite sure the dynamic going on, but um, a really sweet song and amazing vocals from Kate. So um, yeah, do let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.